Thanks, Rachel. Let's turn to Eagle News correspondent Raisa Mangilid. She reports on possible food shortages in Toronto due to the pandemic. Raisa files this report. Due to COVID-19 forcing a lockdown in Toronto, many people who have not faced food shortage pressures before are now finding themselves in that exact situation. Toronto's food banks are feeling the pressure as more people are in need of their services. Furthermore, to decrease the spread of COVID-19, Toronto's million drop-in programs and roughly one-third of the city's local food banks have closed, and many volunteers, many of whom are seniors, have had to remain home while the need for food banks began to increase. The local government has recognized this issue and has entered a partnership with a number of community services and corporate allies to establish a food access strategy to increase food access for the city's most vulnerable to fill in the gaps of food insecurity. At the same time, the extraordinary measures that have been implemented to slow the spread of COVID-19 have also resulted in a dramatic increase in the need for food programs. We've been working with many of our community partners to make sure that people aren't left hungry. Today I'm pleased to announce the details of a tremendous city, corporate and community partner collaboration to help ensure that the food needs of vulnerable Torontonians continue to be met. More assistance is coming from a more familiar place, the Toronto Public Library. The Toronto Public Library has partnered with the Daily Bread Food Bank, North York Food Bank and Second Harvest to begin collecting, packing and distributing food in 12 library branches across the city. Librarians and staff are now back in the library, but instead of the distribution and organization of books, they are working hard to assemble and distribute food hampers to their communities, all while social distancing, helping them remain as vital community hubs and helping them continue to serve their communities. On their part, Many librarians jump at the chance to be able to help their communities once again. That the response by staff to volunteer has been overwhelming. These volunteer librarians and public library staff come together to say we can sort individual hampers and put food in them. And we will distribute that to libraries that are now popping up as emergency temporary food banks throughout the city. It's this type of creativity that is getting through this difficult situation and making sure that every Torontonian has access to food. Food hampers that go to families with children also contain books free of charge to keep children reading. Mayor John Tory expressed his thanks to the libraries and their staff. I want to thank our public library system and their staff for stepping up to help in this effort. It is another example of the team effort by employees across the city to help wherever they can. In times of crisis, Toronto's communities continue to come together and help keep each other's heads above the water. In Toronto, Raisa Mangilit, Eagle News, we live in interesting times.